this is Mary Helton, house manager of Paramount. I just want all you volunteers to know how appreciated you are, how much we love you, and how much we miss you. We have this little video that is showing you a bit about what's going on here at the Paramount, and I think you will be pleasantly surprised when you get back and see it, and we can't wait. Just before Christmas, Scott Yates, Troy Woodby, and Cody Hayes removed each row of aisle seats. The bolts that hold the seats in place are actually part of the floor. The nuts were unscrewed and rows were gently lifted off and over the bolts. It was quite a process. But once the seats were removed, we were ready to bring in the scaffolding so crews could get to those hard to reach places. Two murals had to be completely removed and shipped to New Berlin, Wisconsin for more intricate repairs. Parts of those murals were flaking off and were in really bad shape, so new canvas had to be worked in, and now it looks like a completely seamless piece. Each new color on our historic walls has been hand-mixed to match with the colors from the original restoration. Water damage caused the need for extensive plaster work. Zibi, a native of Poland, traveled from his current home in Chicago to oversee the plaster repairs. Jeremy Lund, project foreman, has hand-cut stencils for surprise new details in the theater. We can't wait for you to see some of those new touches. So far, artisans from Conrad Schmidt Studios have spent about four weeks in our theater and have worked with everything from ornamental gold leaf to acrylic paint. They've worked on the ceiling to the floor and everything in between. Once they wrap up in the house, they'll move their efforts to the lobby, where that work should take about another three weeks. We look forward to having you back with us. We're continuing to schedule shows and hopes to be able to open again soon. Until then, we're staging a comeback.